And we're back with some regular programming on Arsenal Roberts. It's been definitely quite a while since we played any games, but this one in particular, Construction Sim 2015, a game which I never intended to stop playing as soon as I did, but with uh, some problems with my YouTube channel and all, we did in unforeseen circumstances. But nevertheless, that will not put us down, demotivate us, or any of the sort. We will go ahead and continue and construct Wolfsheim. At least, I think that's what the place is called. Wolfsheim. I'm no doubt butchering that. I'm pretty sure someone already, someone already mentioned how to pronounce that name properly. But we're in patch 1.06. Good to see the guys have been updating this game pretty regularly. Been quite a few updates that actually include free stuff in the game. And who doesn't like free stuff? So... I actually did have a couple of problems with the key assignments uh, in the latest patch, but it seems like they've all been fixed up when I go ahead and uh, click reset to the default. So we won't be having any of those problems, hopefully. But what we've got to do, though, is choose a new job. Of course, me being the money-hungry mogul that I am, I'm probably going to choose the minor gardening work, but that does include excavating, which I'm not too much of a fan. So I think... This will require the least amount of work. The roof extension in a single family house. We'll see how that'll go. See if I can remember the controls. So, we've also got an architect mission, but that seems to be locked. I need a large excavator, a concrete pump, which I don't think I have. A vehicle with loading crane. Yeah, I don't really have many of those vehicles. So, let's go with the roof extension in a single family house. We've got five tasks, which seem mainly just to be carrying many different things around. We've got 12 minutes to do it in. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to do that, but we'll have a try. So, what we've got to do is get to Lumber Spruce, 80 centimeters from the sawmill, and transport the cargo into the marked area. Alright, so, two lumber from the sawmill, and, okay, so I guess we can do that twice. We might be able to just do that all in one go. We'll have to have, to have a look. So, accept the mission. I can't remember there being a loading screen, but, okay. So, get to Lumber. Thankfully, the game already tells us where to go, so that should not be too much of a problem. I've got three tasks to give us right away, but there's like five or so tasks up in total. So, oh, I remember this place over here. We had a mission around here, obviously. Maybe it was this one. Jeez, that looks like Minecraft with those bricks. Uh, where are we going? We're coming up over here. This is, I guess, where I need to deliver the goods, but I do not want to go over there. I want to go open up the map. And where is this lumber mill? It was, from memory, somewhere very far away. Um, that's the nursery. That's the sawmill. And that's where we get the stuff, isn't it? Um, active jobs. Here we go. So, get two lumber from the sp oh, spruce from a sawmill. Any sawmill, I guess. There must be multiple of them. Okay, and we also get paid for the stages, which is not a bad thing. So, is there a sawmill around here? It doesn't seem like it, does it? Train stations. I'm sure there's many new different places as well that they've added into the game. So, there's a nursery and a forklift. We've got the sawmill around here. Let's see if there's anything a little bit closer. The gravel plants. It seems like there's a mine up around here. Speaking of mines and all, yeah, I think I'm going to go this way over here. Alright, speaking of mines and all, they did delay Grand Theft Auto, unfortunately. Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC yet again. It's supposed to come out in, I think, March the 24th, in about a month's time. But they decided to go ahead and uh, push it back all the way till, I think, April 15 or so. Which is almost another month. They keep on seeming to delay, unfortunately. And I better watch out how I drive because I definitely do not drive like this in person, believe it or not. Nor am I drunk at the moment, so we'll try to keep it like that anyway. Even though I'm not too much of a fan of alcohol. Let's keep on driving as soberly as we possibly can. But Grand Theft Auto 5 is definitely a game that I'd love to get into on PC. Oh, we just almost managed to squeeze in there. Goddamn physics engine. I love these uh, simulator games. They always have the best physics engines. There's always something funny that manages to happen. What would be a nice little touch, though, is um, there being a distance countdown to how far you've got to go on the minimap. Because at the moment, I've got no idea how far we've got to go. So we could be driving and driving for a good couple of minutes, or we could be just about there, which I think the sawmill is right around here, if I remember correctly. 
So let's just start slowing down. Our tires really should be locking up if I'm just uh, braking as crazily as I am. But they're not. Alright, so from memory, we have got to get out, which was F. There we go. Managed to do that. Surprisingly, our guy's already like sprinting. If I hold shift down, he just starts walking. So let's open up the sawmill menu, and we've got to get from memory two parts. Why is it all red? Do I not have enough money or something? Let's just make sure we're getting the right parts and the right amount. So before I make any too embarrassing mistakes, so we need to get uh, spruce and then larch, two of each, both at 0.8. Okay. So that should be too hard. Spruce and larch. I've actually got no idea what larch is, but we're about to find out. So two spruce, two larch. There we go. Purchase. Thank you. And here they are. We've got the sawmill in the background making all these noises. The first episode of this game went uh, very, very popular. Or it was very popular. It's a shame that I did not capitalize on it, but that is life of a YouTuber, I guess. What we've got to do first off, though, before... I hate countdown missions because I always feel stressed and as if we've got to do everything really quickly, which I always struggle with. So if I look at this, I think it's white. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now we can get back out. And now we can actually go use the forklift properly. I do love this uh, control, control scheme, how easy it's to have a look at how everything works. Let's try to angle ourselves properly. I'm pretty sure if we press, there we go, V a couple of times, we managed to come up to this beautiful view. And we should be able to go ahead and insert the fork into the pallet, no problems asked, or no questions asked, lift it up, there we go, seems like we've done a good job, hopefully, yep, I just tilt it so it does not fall, probably could have done a little bit better of a job of um, holding it down, but it'll have to do, so we'll be easily able to carry, I think, these four pallets, not too many problems, that is the hope at least, Got to make sure we've got everything under control. Let's maybe go back a little bit. Now we can place these as ugly as we want. Really, I would say. All right, let's try to get back. Beautiful. All right, that should be good. All we got to do now is do that four times, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Easily, easier said than done, though. I don't think that's going to be as easy as I think it will be. So let's go back over here. Try to angle that to back down close to the ground. Keep driving forwards. Keep driving forward. There we go. That should be good. There we go. That's much better. Now nothing's going to fall down. Let's just angle it in towards us so it doesn't fall. Cargo has been fastened. Okay. That's probably what I should have uh, done the first time. But let's go around the other side. And that should hopefully work. Now, I have started up uploading, at least in 1080p. It seems like that's the standard these days on YouTube. So, alas, I do live in Australia. And uh, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you probably have heard me complain about Australian upload speeds. Download speeds aren't that bad. I mean, you can download pretty much whatever you could want in a day or so, like, no matter how big it is. But download speeds aren't the problem. It's upload speeds, which is what you need pretty much for business communications and to be much more efficient. I mean, uploading is more of a consumer type of thing, whereas uploading is more business-wise, at least business-wise, that's what you need uploading for, at least. Most uh, residential people, residential, well, at least for residential purposes, you don't really need upload speeds of any great amount, but... On YouTube, in particular, you do need rather fast upload speeds if you do want to compete with uh, other YouTubers, at least. I remember, I'm sure many of you guys know of Diplex Heated. I remember I started downloading, what was it, um, Stronghold 2, long ago. 
and he and I already started downloading it about two hours before he even um, had it. I uploaded, well, I was recorded the video, so I downloaded the game, recorded a video, and I started uploading it, rendered it all out, started uploading it, and he, while I was uploading it, he only just started downloading the game. He recorded it, rendered it out, and he managed to upload it before upload it before me. Well, I had already done that, all of that stuff before he um, even had the game. But that is, I guess, the difference between um, Swedish and Australian upload speeds. Uh, cargo has been unfastened. That is what I wanted. I did not want this, though. There we go. That could have been very ugly. Games like this can get very frustrating very quickly. All right. Seems like whenever you come within a certain radius of the uh, sawmill, it starts making that abhorrent noise. Alright, so, let's get centered in on this. And we should be able to get this job done. I probably should be angling this just a little bit better. There we go, cargo has been fastened. Let's lift it up a bit. Change the angles up a bit because why not? Well, I'm gonna have to change it back to this view though. Alright, now. Cargo's been unfastened. Should be able to go out. Alrighty. Now, let's come out of here. What I'm going to have to do, though, is you go back here and you attach the cargo. There we go. It should not be falling down now, hopefully. Come enter the truck, and then I think it's Y. Yes. All right. Now, what we should do is drive a lot safer than we were before. And also, come up to... Show us, yes, the construction site. Alright. Good to see that they've been updating this game quite a bit as well. I can't really remember what these updates have uh, added to the game. Jesus Christ. Holy moly, that could have ended much, much worse than it did. Alright, I'll drive much more conservatively than I currently am. Um, is there still the time limit going on? Or have I just obliterated that time limit? No. Just 8 minutes 50, they're just giving us any random, t well, the time that we've uh, taken to do this mission, I guess. Which is not bad. At least I don't need to be rushing, because there's no countdown. What does this mean? That is our level, we're a good apprentice. I've been playing this game for an hour, or well, almost two hours now. I guess the first, I think I did three or so episodes of this game before we stopped first episode's got some like 220,000 views. I remember my dad was telling me because he's into a couple of simulator games. He was watching Ship Simulator. And he told me that he saw one of my videos in the uh, related video section. And he was very, very proud of me. No, but seriously, he was uh, surprised that uh, he saw me there. Small world though. It's pretty amazing how much of a small world it is though. Especially with the internet these days. How everyone can pretty much know each other through the internet. I think there's something like six degrees of separation or something, something of the sorts. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's, it's got something to do with uh, how interconnected everyone is. I'm sure there's someone that knows much more about this than me. Anyways, we have just entered Wolfsheim, the town which we have uh, liberally destroyed. Or at least I have uh, off screen. Let's go ahead and just try not to crash. So this is a high stakes situation right over here though. Alright, so let's go to this Minecraft Lego house. And I'm not quite sure how we deliver this. How is it that we deliver it? We don't just drive here, do we? No, let's just make sure we uh, get this done right. So, get two lumber, spruce, from a sawmill and transport the cargo into the marked area. This is definitely the marked area. For sure. That's not the marked area. Alright, so what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try my luck. Just reverse nice and straight. Just 
something like so. Is that good enough? No, that's not good enough. Okay. Gonna go with that. Uh, there's no way that I think I'm able to unfasten this back here. So let's unattach that. Let's do that. Alright. We're gonna have to press Y. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, tip this back. Now this could be either a massive fail or it could be a lot of win. There's no other way that I can do this, I don't think. So let's go give this a shot, shall we? If I start reversing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All done. Oh, I caramba, that went very quickly. Okay. So that's been finished. Um, I probably should close all of this up. Get one insulation material from a materials trader and transport the cargo into the marked area. Before we go do that, I think this guy's uh, much closer to us actually. Which is a good thing. Don't need to be driving around as much and hopefully don't need to be carrying as much stuff around. So, let's go back to the um, active jobs. So, stage two pays off a lot more as well. I think we've got 32 minutes. I think that's what it means. Uh, and I think we can assign workers. Like, you have a company and you have... Well, I guess these are the vehicles that we've got uh, in stock. Now, you can have, obviously, other workers, which I can seemingly have a worker available right now. I'm tempted to actually get Dominic for 2,000 credits monthly. I won't get him just yet, though. Um, and then we can have a warehouse. Okay. Still a lot of this stuff that I haven't really figured out. Obviously, it's been a while since we've last played this. So... Let's come back over here. We've got to go to Materials Trader, Materials Trader, and Materials Trader again. Easy. Materials Traders are Buildings and Materials Dealer, which I'm pretty sure that's the guy that we want. I mean, I don't think there's any other stores. Steel Mill, Buildings and Materials. No. There's a whole other city area out here. Wall Factory. Jeez, that sounds interesting. Vehicle dealers, which I'm assuming we're able to uh, buy new vehicles from. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, though. So, let's come up to this guy. Slowly drive his way. Without, hopefully, crashing into too many people. Now, what I think I'll start doing is... Uh, we've almost reached the 20-minute mark. I'll probably cut these videos into 20-minute uh, length episodes, so... Because they are in 1080p, it does take a, well, a lot longer to upload, so. I don't want to make these videos too long either. I've almost created sort of a niche for myself where I upload videos that are relatively large and long, but. I think 20 minutes is an average length or a decent length. So, anyway, so let's go talk to Heininger. Let's go talk to him. How many of these do I need? Two purchase what if I go here Wait, so what did I just get did I just get this Let's just make sure I'm doing the right thing um, because I don't want to embarrass myself any more than I need to so I think I've got the uh, two roof tiles right I need insulation and asphalt insulation and asphalt oh, alright there we go Okay, I think that should be enough. Now, we seem to have a lot of crap around here, though. A very large amount of crap. So, I think I bought too many of these um, roof tiles, didn't I? Um, yes, I did. Typical. Typical of me. But at least we'll have that there for another mission or a rainy day. Um, if we need it. So, it, it was two roof tiles, one insulation, and one asphalt. Okay. Um, for whatever reason, it seems like I've got a lot more insulation. I guess that's the asphalt. It can't be the asphalt, is it? Those are the roof tiles, right? 